Yeah. Now, finally, I want to ask for your assistance here. I want you to help us educate Lydia. That's Senator Lydia Thorpe, who said this about King Charles. Do you recognise King Charles as sovereign? Not at all. I recognise him as an invader, a violent invader. Uh, yes, he wasn't personally responsible, but he certainly uh, relishes in, in the wealth that has been created on the backs of slavery, on the backs of massacres and murders and stolen children. Whoa. Douglas, uh, if you could, in a simple and yet succinct manner, just uh, help Lydia out there. I'm not sure the Lydia's thought this one through. First of all, I mean, the, one of the basics of our society is that the sins of the father are not uh, um, brought upon the son. Uh, in any case, um, not even uh, King Charles's father went around stealing children. I, I don't think you, you'd have to go back many, many centuries to find anyone associated with a king who went around stealing children or invading lands. <laughs> I mean, uh, the late queen didn't uh, didn't go around invading lands and stealing children, as far as I remember. Um, uh, the wealth that the monarchy has accrued over the years is um, a very, very long way away from the slave trade now. But if if uh, if the centre is going to do this, I think we should make it reciprocal, don't you, uh, Rita? We should find out what her ancestors were up to. <laughs> I bet that they weren't all pacifists. I bet that they didn't all spend their days preaching peace and harmony. And if that is the case, Rita then we should hold it against her and we should make sure that she too has to pay for the sins of her forebears. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Douglas Murray, thank you so much again for joining me.